Today's one of those days when I uh, call in sick to work and go hunting. It's a Tuesday and we finally got a little cold snap so everything kind of cooled down and it seemed like too good of an opportunity to pass up. So I got Cooley and Rue with me but I also got all the puppies. It's the first puppy day out in the real woods. So they are 13 and a half weeks old so they're not gonna really hunt much but they're along for the ride I'm gonna get them roading a little bit and yeah we're gonna have some fun the puppy's first time out in the big woods. Everybody's pooping. They were all covered in drool when I pulled them out of the dog box. This is the longest car ride they've ever been on. So lots of firsts happening. Everybody's pooping. They're ready to go. Cooley. Come on, dogs. Come on, Tika. Good dogs. Good dogs. All right, let's load these puppies up. <clears throat> All right, so I'm just roading the dogs for a little while. I wanna cover a lot of ground this morning, and the goal is to find a bobcat. The goal is to tree a bobcat. But I guess I gotta poop some more. Alright, so about two or three hundred yards back down the road, uh, they both started started getting excited and smelling some stuff. So nah, no no actual strikes yet, but yeah, they seem like they're kinda kinda trailing something. So we'll see. Alright, they are on to something now. Still just cold trailing, but yeah, they just sniffed a spot, got super excited, took off straight down the road. Let's see where they end up. Kind of right, kind of down by a little creek. Coolly winded something. Took off down there. Doesn't bark or anything. Bruce didn't follow her. She's only 15 yards down that way. I'm not sure what she's doing. All right, so I don't know exactly what she's doing, but Coolie's been messed around in this little creek bottom and she just barked she's really interested in this area 
wasn't a very wasn't a very big strike or anything, but it was a strike. I stopped here to give the puppies some water because they're drooling like crazy. And of course, two seconds after I stop, a truck full of elk hunters comes by. They didn't seem very happy to see me, but that's okay. It's freaking dusty out here. Puppies are doing good. Hi, Pip. Hey, guys. Hi, Tika. Hi, Clover. Hi, Bruno. Hi, Tika. Hi, Bruno. Hi, Pip. Hi, Bruno. Hi, Tika. What do you guys think of all this? All right, what do we find here? Oh, dead thing. Dead bird. What killed that, Cuckoo? What killed that bird, Mama? Bobcat kill it? We're in some really good ground. Some nice reprod. Grouse. <laughs> All right, just letting the puppies out for a little bit. Cooley and Rue are interested in different things, but uh, I actually got really excited coming up through here. But nothing yet. Hey, Cooley. Cooley, Rue, come here. Come here, dogs. Good dogs. Good dogs. Good dogs. Hey, buddy. Hey bud, what's up dude? Okay, so here's what just happened. I just pulled over in this little, little open area up on top of this hill to give the puppy some water and let him run around, use the bathroom and stuff. And within about 15 seconds, Cooley, is 80 yards down the road and she strikes. Come to find out, three of the puppies were with her. I toned her back, so she comes running, and Bruno here comes sprinting up the road, barking wide open. I don't know who taught him that, but it was pretty funny. And then of course, Pip, little Pippy. Of course, Pip runs, runs the other way down the road. There he is, there's Pip. He's the most stubborn one by far. He ran way down the road, and I had to go run after him. And then when he saw me, he kept running the opposite direction. So, they're still too small to put tracking collars on. Um, I have one mini, I guess, and I should probably put that one on Pip. But they're not going to run too much more today. Uh, this is just to get them into the flow of hunting. Uh, the dogs have ran probably 10 miles so far. We haven't really struck anything. We're getting some more excitement going up in this area. Um, you can see it's some nice, nice reprod, replanted trees, that is. And yeah, pretty nice, pretty nice out here. We're gonna keep going. So Cooley and Rue 
they ran on the road about about 10 miles I would say um, but I don't want to overdo it with the road running this early in the season because their feet are just not quite in the best shape uh, to be running that far so last weekend they did run like 15 miles or 18 miles or something um, and they had no problem but I still I don't want to overdo it so I got them up on the rig rack and I got the stripe the stripe cam running I'm really happy with how Cooley is riding up there all last year when I would have her rigged up there with whiskey she would not stand up she would ride laying down and she looked pathetic it was embarrassing but this year as you can see she's riding high which is very good Rue's chirping up there I don't know if either of these dogs really has what it takes to become a strike dog or a rig dog but they're the best I have right now so we're gonna have high hopes and we're gonna see what they can do all right so just learned something these puppies are quite a ways away from me being able to just turn them loose because um, <laughs> they don't listen <laughs> They do recall in our backyard when I have food in my hand, but uh, out here in the woods, they want to run. <laughs> they don't want to. They don't want to come when I call them. What I just did was I saw a rabbit run down this little road over here, and so I wanted to see what they would do. And they actually smelled it. They smelled it, and they they started going in the bushes where it went. But then they just started running down the road, and I I didn't want them to get too far away. They're pretty fast, even though they're so young. Pip is especially this little one right here. That's Pip. Huh. Yeah, you're Pip, aren't you? He doesn't like listening. He doesn't like listening at all. He pretends like he don't speak English. Which I guess he doesn't. I can tell we're him and I are going to have some conversations in the future. But I know all these dogs are super smart, and they'll be able to get tone trained no problem and we'll be able to hunt they are rearing to go when I put them on the ground their their noses are on the ground and they're hunting so I'm really excited about these puppies but I can tell it's gonna be a long season and there's gonna be lots of learning opportunities okay so now we're, I'm kind of heading out towards the pavement because I have to work later today I just took the morning off um, well, I have to go to the DMV and then I have to work um, But I'm going down into this area where I found a ton of bobcat tracks this last winter and This it, it, we also we ran one of those tracks all day one day with whiskey That was a wild race We didn't catch it but we got really close. I think they put it up, but we, I just couldn't find it. It was one of those caught but not locate type situations. All right, cool, he just struck a track. She's moving.
That sounds like she's got it jumped. And they're hit they just hit that other road, so I should probably drive around to get over there. Alright, well that was something. So, Cooley and Rue, they struck a track. And it sounded like they got it jumped. And they ran it for, like, maybe 400 yards and then hit another road and then lost it. Then they were running down the road for a ways. But I think it, I think it lost them at the road. Which sucks, but that was pretty exciting. That was sounded really good. Um, it reminded me of the first jump race of the first cat that we caught last year when Cooley struck that thing and then jumped it and was off to the races. This got going pretty quickly just like that. I, I thought we were going to get it treed. But I'm also very hopeful and I really think highly of my dogs even though <laughs> they are as unproven as could possibly be. They are ultimate rookies, but they're they're doing good. They're showing a lot of enthusiasm. They're not running any trash as far as I can tell. I've seen I've seen tons of deer tracks, tons of elk tracks, uh, tons of coyote poop. That was the only thing they that was the only actual track they've run all day. And they started out when they struck it. It was uh, they struck a little little pine sapling which whiskey would strike on those things all the time and then rue his body like his whole demeanor kind of changed he got got really low to the ground and was kind of creeping along i've seen uh some of my mentors dogs kind of do that where they get kind of catty and uh so yeah he was doing that and just really tracking it and uh Anyways, all fell apart. That's how it goes. I gotta head head back home. Um, I'll probably probably put the puppies out for another ten minutes or so. Let them pee and run around, uh, and then I gotta go home. Hey guys! All right, just letting the puppies out one more time, and then we're gonna get going. Fun morning. Got a lot of miles on Cooley and Rue. About 12 miles. Cooley, come here. Cooley. Cooley, come here. The puppies really want to follow Cooley, so I have to make sure she doesn't get too far away. It is really stressful not having tracking collars on them. Billy, come here. Bruno. Pip. Tika. Rue, come here, buddy. Good boy, Pip. Rue. Freaking handsome dogs. Hey, Clover! Clover! 
Good boy. Good boy, buddy. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Good dogs. Good dogs. Good dogs. Good dogs. Okay, cool. We come. All right. All right. We're going to load up and get out of here. All right. We are done for the day. It's 8.52. So we hunted for... Got up here at... Right at five, I think. So we hunted for about four hours. That's pretty good. <clears throat> Still really dry, so makes it tough for the dogs. I'm not trying to make excuses or anything, but it's just really freaking dry. Hopefully, uh, fall will kick into gear here soon, and we'll be able to do some serious hunting. Anyways, thanks everyone for watching, and I'll check in with you later. All right, now for a little little snack for the road. What do we have here? Oh yeah, taquitos. Taquitos are always better when you cook them on your manifold. <laughs>